Sports Women of Hollywood. Take one. Hi, I'm Madison Mullers, and you're watching Inside the Minds of the Most Influential Women of Hollywood. Today, I'll be interviewing Brenda Cooper, who's an Emmy Award-winning costume designer. She's worked on shows like The Nanny and now Happily the Sports. As a kid, do you think that you incorporate anything you did as, as a kid into your costume design now? Well, you know, that's a very interesting question, Madison, because I do not remember this, but my mom used to tell me that I, when I was a child, I used to ask for her evening gowns and ask if I could cut them up and redesign them. And that's what I used to do, but I don't remember any of that, <laughs> and that's definitely what I do today. You had three sisters and one's a twin. What's it like growing up as a, with a twin? Well, when people ask me what it's like growing up as a twin, I, I always say, I don't know because I don't know because I have nothing to compare it to because I am a twin. But it's fun, it's interesting. Uh, people get very confused by us. Sometimes when I meet people, they say, Hi, Sandy. And they go, I'm not Sandy, and they don't believe me. And then they go bright red, and people get embarrassed when they make mistakes with us. Um, so we've had lots of fun as, as twins, and it's interesting to be able to look at someone that looks exactly like you. You moved away from London, your home, at such a young age. What was the scariest part of doing that? Well, I moved away from home at the age of 17, and I went to live in London, and then I came to America when I was 19. And to be really honest, there was nothing scary about it at all. It was so exciting. <laughs> and the minute I landed on American soil, I felt like I'd come home. <laughs> so I've always loved America. So the only things about me that are English are my accent and my sense of humor. I have a very English sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> the biz. Do you think being a former model helps you with your career? At first I thought no, but when I reflect back, you know, as a model, you're creating beautiful pictures most of the time. So I have learned, because the work I do is all um, behind the scenes, looking at people that I dress on camera, being a model has helped me have a really great eye uh, for seeing that things are just look absolutely beautiful on camera, because I love to create beautiful, harmonious pictures um, of the person, what they're wearing, what's in the shot, so that when a person looks at the shot, like on the sitcom that, I, that I'm the costume designer on, they look at the shot and they smile because it's so pleasing to look at. How did you meet Fran Drescher? It was a, a sitcom with Fran Drescher, Twiggy, and an actress called Julie Haggerty. <laughs> And Fran said to me, she liked what I did, she liked my style, and she said, if I ever get my own TV series, Brenda, I want you to be the costume designer. And she got the nanny, and she called me, and I became the costume designer. <laughs> wow. Very exciting. Must have been. So I get to shop all day long with other people's money. <laughs> Aren't I the luckiest? You are. <laughs> you are. I am. I, I shop all day long and buy beautiful clothes and shoes and purses and coats and dresses. What's the hardest part of your job? The hardest part of my job, well, the best part of my job is that I get to shop all day. The hardest part of my job is that the time. It's you have to do your job in a very short space of time so you have to work very quickly mm -hmm. and you have to think of the big picture of everything and there's lots of things to think about because not only do I have to have people looking beautiful but they have to do technical things I have to know if they're going to take a coat off or if they have to have a purse or if the costume one minute it's standing up and the next minute it's sitting down and then it goes into this other scene it's all the technical stuff that that, that most people don't even think about yeah. that I have to think about so that it so that the scene works and flows beautifully mm. so I would say my number one challenge is I don't have enough time you won the only Emmy on the show, The Nanny. Why is um, costume design so important in the TV and film industry? Madison, that's a very good question. And I'm going to answer it by saying, could you imagine if we got up in the morning and we just went onto a set and we, di we did a sitcom, we were actresses, and we wore our own clothes, what it would look like? Because we're all in sweats and we're not kind of polished. So, so what the costumes do, the costumes help an actor or an actress develop their character, understand who they are mm -hmm. in the character, and they help move the story forward and tell the whole story. Oh. So, I mean, I always say before a person ever opens their mouth, 
You can tell a whole lot about them by the way they're dressed. Who would you rather be fashion-wise? I have two of these, but here's the first one. Angelina Jolie or Madonna? Madison, that's such a hard question. Who would I rather be? If that's my, they're my choices, just those two. I would have to say that I would prefer to be Madonna. And can I tell you why? Why? Because I think that her look is more creative and more inspired. Mm -hmm. Um, while Angelina Jolie is very beautiful. But if, if you're forcing me to make a choice, my choice is Madonna. <laughs> now here's the second one. This is the younger ones. Katy Perry or Kate Middleton? I would like to do a little bit of Katy Perry and a little bit of Kate Middleton. It would be <laughs> very difficult for me to go either way because they're so different. Yeah, but... But I have to make a choice? Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, Kate Middleton. Why do you love putting clothes together? For me, you know, an artist uses paints to paint his picture, and I use pieces of clothing as my paints, and I put them together on, on a man or a woman. Which and, is the canvas. And, and I turn it in, them into a beautiful picture. Because mm -hmm. they look good, and then they feel good, and then they have more confidence, and then they go out into the world and take risks, and their hopes and dreams come true. Who is easier to dress, men or women, and why? Well, I think they're both easy to dress, but the one I prefer to dress is women. Because women have so many more choices. There's lots of much, much more creative stuff. They get to wear much more color. Uh, men's clothing is much tamer. There's not so much color. There's not so much different design. So, I mean, it's both, for me, it's just effortless. I'm just, it's like painting a picture of a lady to look beautiful or a man to look very handsome. But my preference is women. I can see that because men are like you just put a shirt and pants and a belt and, you know, something else maybe. And on women, you have over jackets, accessories, jewelry, hair, so that shoes. Brings, that brings up a good point for me uh, when you ask the question, which is easier. If we're going to talk which is easier, Madison, I would probably say men are easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there's less pieces, there's not ex so many accessories, but women are more creative mm -hmm. for me. Can you tell me about your new book, Looking Super with Brenda Cooper? Well, my book, Looking Super with Brenda Cooper, which isn't finished yet, is my philosophy of style. One day, a friend of mine said, Brenda, you must have a system for dressing people because you always look, make people look so beautiful and elegant, but they always look so different. And I went, no, I don't, I just do it. I just do it intuitively. I don't think about it, I just do it. She insisted that I have a system. I insisted that I didn't have a system. And then she left, and I sat and I thought, do I have a system? And then you thought of the Brenda Cooper style system. And then I realized I do have a system. I have an amazing system that I use with women, that I used on Fran Drescher, that I use on all the women I work with, you know, privately and it makes women look and feel beautiful and it's easy to do, it's effortless to do it. So I'm developing my book around this idea. Didn't you already have a TV show called I, Fashion Emergency? You have a very good memory and you've done incredible research. Thank you. Madison, yes, I had a show after I left The Nanny. Um, I landed up being on air for seven years doing one of the first makeover shows on E! called Fashion Emergency and I was one of the hosts on that show and that was lots of fun because I got to dress people again except I got to do it on camera and to talk to women um, and teach them and show them how to put great, um, great looks together. Mm -hmm. So that, was in, that wasn't helping celebrities and actresses, that was helping real people and I love to help real people. Why do you feel that colour is so important with clothing? Oh, Madison, colour is so important with clothing because people don't understand how colour makes you look. You know, of all the aspects of getting dressed, the, the shape of your clothing, the fabric of your clothing, the fit of your clothing, the one that people see first is the colour of your clothing. Mm -hmm. And colour, when you put it up against your skin, can make you look fabulous and vibrant and alive and healthy. Mm -hmm. And then if you wear colours that aren't in harmony with your skin tone, they can make you look tired and sick and ill. And so colour is really important. Yeah, but I think it's important that like you can wear like a beige or a white or a black mm -hmm. 
but it's important to have a, pop, a spot of color. Like right now, you're wearing a, bla a black pants and a black shirt, but you have that pop of yes, orange. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly right. So you want to wear, have your neutral colors, mm -hmm. which is like black, gray, off white, mm -hmm. um, a chocolate brown would be a mm -hmm. good one. The genie question. If a magic genie came to you and gave you three wishes, mm -hmm. what would they be? Okay, three wishes. Oh gosh, that's a difficult question. Okay, I know two of them. Good. I have to think about the third. Okay, my first one would be that I wish that people in the world would be more compassionate. Mm -hmm. Like that, like Judy would put a veil over the whole world so that people would be compassionate and mm -hmm. we could end the war mm -hmm. in the world and everybody would have food to eat mm -hmm. and there was more love in the world. I would love that. That would make me so happy. I think that's three wishes. Is it three? Actually, no. I think that's two. That's okay, so then my, my next one. Mm -hmm. I want my own TV show called Looking Super with Brenda Cooper. <laughs> Charity and Hobbies. Can you please tell us about uh, Cancer Schmancer in your involvement? So my, my, I contribute to Cancer Schmancer, which is Fran Drescher's nonprofit, um, and it's all about helping women with cancer, and it's about taking control of your body, because Fran, Fran had cancer, and only because she took control of her own body did she get rid of the cancer. So it, it is um, her organization that helps women be in charge of their bodies. Um, and uh, I help in terms of style because when you get cancer you don't feel good about yourself and so I help uh, and give style tips on on how to dress and how to look good and and um, how to be the best you can be when you're not feeling your best. Your sons are both such good musicians. If they make it big, do you think they'll let you dress them? Well, you know, my sons are... Um, are fabulous. I absolutely adore them. And they love that I do my color thing, and they know a lot about color, mm -hmm. and they both have individual style, and they do ask me questions. And yes, if they want me, if they want help with dressing, if they become, you know, superstars, they've got their own personal stylist. <laughs> their mum. <laughs> so yes, I like to help anyone that needs help. I'm Madison Mullers, and you just watched Inside the Minds, the most influential women of Hollywood. Bye!